Hey everyone, it's Megan with The Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning in my catch-all happy planner for the week of April 10th through the 16th. And I'm going to be using the Simply Sweetly Crafty Full House Kit. Oh my lanta, I love this kit so much. I got the full kit because I wanted to use, I think almost a full kit, um, because I wanted to use every single bit and piece of this kit. It's adorable. I am still on a PR for Simply Sweetly Crafty until the end of April. So if you guys are wanting to save yourself some money, you can use my code MEGAN15 on non-sale dates and you can save 15% off. If you are doing if you are shopping during a sale, you can put my name in the notes and you can get my adorable freebie. I love it. It's so cute and it is so me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I also pulled some washi, by the way, just in case I need it to help me with decoration. So I'm excited to use this kit. I've been waiting so long to use this kit. So we are going to waste no time. All right, so I think what we're gonna do first is, as usual, I always cover the spine of my spread with washi tape, so we're gonna go ahead and start with that. And that's really the only reason why I pulled this washi tape out. Um, I want to use everything specifically Simply Sweetly Crafty for this week because I wanna show you guys that you can use all of her items in your spread. So that is what we're going with this week. I love this washi tape. You know, sometimes I'm not a huge fan of the washi. I know I just said I love it, but sometimes it's not my favorite. But it is very nice to do fancy spreads like this. Do you guys ever have a day where you were just so productive and like you feel like you haven't got anything done, but then you go back and you're like, wow. I really did get a lot done. That's how I feel today. I just, I don't know. I meal prepped and I got laundry done and I planned for everything for this week. I just feel productive today, you guys, and I don't know why. Okay, we have got the spine done. Now we're going to go in here and she has an entire thing of washi. So we are going to use it. And we're going to start with this strip all the way at the bottom of the spread. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. It's so adorable. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Oh, we have a little bit hanging off on the edge here, which is okay. And then we are going to do the same thing, maybe, on this side over here. I think we might have to cut a few of the items off. Um, let's go. Here, we're going to do this. I'm going to cut the house right here. And then we'll start. Um, I do have date covers, but I don't know if this kit, if I ordered the date covers to go with it because if I did no I did not okay so we're gonna start from here actually we're gonna cover up the Monday word oh but we're not gonna put this down crooked that's not how we're starting out the spread today I think we might have to put it down crooked because this likes to stay exactly where it goes Okay. There we go. That's as much as we can do. And then we are going to cut the rest of our full house San Francisco scene right off, which is sad, but that's okay. Let me get my date covers. I just got these from an order that I just placed. Um, it was the first order I placed and it got lost in the mail, but Diana is so sweet and she resent it because it's just been a whole mess of <laughs> interesting circumstances with my post office, I guess. So she resent it like the absolute wonderful person she is. I'm looking in the wrong binder. 
my date covers are in this binder. I just knocked something over. I don't know if you guys heard that. I actually think they're over here. No, they're not. They're in this section. This book is from um, Planner Kate, by the way, if you guys are wondering. I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at the colors in this kit and see which one we want to use. And I'm thinking we're going to go with the pink. So I got a couple of different colors. We're going to go with pink for the dates. Now we have to figure out which pink we want to use. I think we're going to use this one because I believe that's the closest to the colors. Yes. So let's go ahead and put these date covers on. All right. Now we have got those down and now it's time to work on our sidebar. And I did want to use... Here we go. We've got lots of boxes here. So if you guys are familiar with my spreads, I like to have my work schedule. So that's what this is going to be for. And we are going to use, I want to do some sort of label. Here we go. Well, yes. Okay. This will be for work. I do have to white out the this week here. All right, there we go. And then we have this lovely three checklist, which you guys know I like to put my goals for the week. And I do need to make sure I choose my AM and PM routine stickers for my habits. So I think we're going to do these two. And which box should we use? I'm going to go with blue, I think. And then our AM and PM. Okay. And I think I want to use one of these cute boxes. And I'm thinking we are going to use this one. I might not be able to use it though because I forgot to leave room. So we're going to see. So far, so good. But if I don't have room after moving this down, I think we will just have room for the house. So I'm going to white out this little section so that I have room for this box. Oh, wow, that fit perfectly. Great. Okay, now we are going to go on to this side and I'm going to add our checklists for things that need to get done. I think I'm going to use this blue one. I do also have a doctor's appointment that I need to put on here. So we're going to use the pink box. Okay. And I think she has a doctor's appointment icon on here. I think that's it. So we will use the RX for doctor. Okay. And then this is our chores list. So we're going to get a box for that. If I can get this up, there we go. Put that one here and then the icon box, we will put the sponge. We're 
right here. And then I noticed that there is an at on here as well, and I'm going to put that right here just so I can write it down. And I do need another, let's see, I need another box. And we'll put this one over here. Well, we're going to put purple over here since we have a lot of other colors going on. And then we'll put this one on this side. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, now it's time for the boxes because that's the fun part. Just everywhere today. So I think I want Oh My Lanta on this side. Maybe with the, the purple like glittery box. Yeah. Like that? That looks good. Okay. And then I really want cut it out to go over here. And I think we're going to use the green glitter box. I think we're going to have some leftovers here because there is quite a bit that I'm not going to be able to use in this spread. So that is a good thing. You might be seeing this in my weeks planner as well if you follow me on Instagram. So that's fun for you. All right. I think that's it. Um, and I think I want to go ahead and add some deco because I, I don't think there's much else I can add to the spread. So yeah, I think I'm going to do some deco at the washi, see how we go from there. All right, everyone, that is it for this week's plan with me and my catch-all planner. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this spread was just as fun for you guys to watch me put together as it was for me to share with you how I'm using this spread. Once again, I am on APR for Simply Sweetly Crafty. If you use my code Megan15, you can save 15% off, or you can put my name in the notes section so you can get my adorable freebie. If you'd like to see more of my catch-all spread plan with me's, I will leave an entire playlist down in the description box below, as well as other playlists related to planner content. I also share Polly Clay art prop journal books and a lot of other crafting content as well. So if you want to check any of those out, they will also be in the description. 
thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, craft on.